Okay, today, boys and girls, we're going to look at pattern one. That pattern has subject nouns and verbs. Pattern one. Pattern one has two core parts, just like I just said, subject noun and a verb. Remember, a subject noun is a noun that a sentence is about. A verb is what the subject does or is. Remember, both have to be there in order for it to be a sentence. We label pattern one as follows. Subject noun verb pattern one. SNVP1. We put the SN and the V on, on the top of the line and underneath we put P1 for the type of pattern. For the other patterns, you're going to add on to that later. Let's look at an example. Ship sailed. What sailed? In our sentence, the ships sailed. So let's write that in here. All right, what is being said about ships? Ships sailed. Sailed goes here. Sorry, my printer is going crazy in the background. All right, and then our labels would be subject, noun, verb, pattern, one. So we would do S, N, V, and then our line, and P1. Most of the time, if they want you to write the pattern, you'll see the pattern line on the left of the sentence. Okay, let's go ahead and clear our work and then continue. All right, so how did we label this? See, to the left, we have our pattern line. And then again, we have our subject noun is ships. So we're going to mark it SN. And then what is being said about ships? Ships sailed. Sailed is our verb. That's the action. Okay. I'm going to clear it again. All right, let's move on. In your notes, write the following sentences. And this would be a good time to pause the screen so that you can get these written down. If not, you can rewind. Um, plane flew, ladybugs crawled, and boys raced. Okay. Once you have them written down, I would like you to label your sentences to the best of your ability. You should know the subject nouns and the verbs. These are very basic sentences. Let's pause the screen so you can finish writing these down. Okay, how is it labeled? You should have labeled on the side there your pattern, your subject noun and verb, because pattern ones always have to have a subject noun and a verb. And that makes the pattern. So we have put the pattern on the bottom and the subject noun and the verb on the top. That's the basics of a sentence. Now, plane flew. What flew? Plane. Subject noun. So we're going to go ahead and mark that with an S N for subject noun. That's our label. That's how we classify. Another word for labeling is to classify. All right. So what is being said about plane? Plane flew. Verb. That's the action. Okay, how'd you do on that one? Hopefully, well, if not, you can look back at our notes and try again. Okay, I'm going to clear it and move on. Okay, ladybugs crawled. What crawled? Ladybugs. Ladybugs is our subject noun. Okay, what is being said about ladybugs? Ladybugs crawled. Verb, that's the action of the sentence. Okay, and our pattern is subject, noun, verb, pattern one. So we have our subject and we have our verb. All right. Continuing on. Boys race. This is our last one. Who raced? Boys. Notice how I said who for the people nouns, and I say what for non human nouns. All right, so who raised boys? Subject, noun. And what is being said about boys? Boys raced, verb. Again, raced is our, raced is our verb, okay? 
Um, and you have on your, you should have had on your line the subject noun verb pattern one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clear it. And now it's your turn. Tonight, I would, would like you to write three pattern one sentences for a classmate to classify tomorrow in class. Sorry, that's a lot of classes. <laughs> um, so basically, you need to write three sentences. It could be two word sentences, it could be more, but let's try to keep it close to two words, um, just for time and because we're just practicing. Um, and your sentences will be for a grade, and then you can help each other figure out the labeling if there's a problem. Um, all right, I look forward to seeing your sentences tomorrow.